Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to explain another C program to swap the first and last elements of the array. What is the meaning of swapping? Exchanging the elements of the given positions. For example, I am giving the number of terms. The array contains n number of elements. Those elements are I am giving 0 to n minus 1. Your output should print the elements of the array after exchanging the first and last element. Consider an example. The size of n is 7 here. The name of the array is A. We have array elements like this 70, 80, 60, 50, 30, 20 and 10. These are the index positions 0 to n minus 1. That is 7 minus 1, 6 here. Now our program output should print the elements after exchanging the first and last element. Here in this example, this is the first element. This is a of 0, that is 70. The last element is a of 6, that is 10. This 10 should move to the 0th position, that is the first position, and 70 should move to the 6th position, that is the last position. This is called exchanging. After exchanging, your program output should print. In the 70 place, you will get 10. In the 10 place, you will get 70. There is no need of the remaining elements. I am exchanging the only first and last elements of the array. Let's think how we can do this. We have this input array. We have to take the first element. First element is a of 0. I am storing a of 0, that is 70, to some variable x here. Now x holds 70. That means I am storing this 70 value in some temporary location. So x holds the 70 value. Now the last element is a of 6. Now a of 6 will be assigned to a of 0. a of 6 is now 10. 10 will be assigned to a of 0 position. Now a of 0 is 10 now. Now a of 0 is 10 and a of 6 also 10. Previously I stored the 70 in some temporary variable. x is now 70. This 70 will be assigned to a of 6. That means now a of 6 changed to 70. So in this way we are using a temporary variable. Now let's write the program. We have header files here main function and return 0. I have taken an array with name a. Initially it is having 7 elements. For iteration purpose I am taking one index variable. First print the element printf the elements in the given array are slash n. I am printing the elements here. For this use the for loop for i is equal to 0 indexing starts from 0 i less than 7 so totally we have 7 elements i plus plus use the printf statement printf percentage d a space i am giving comma a of i this is the way of printing the array elements if you want additional details how to print the array elements you can please watch my video on how to read the array elements and print it these three lines are just printing the array elements. Now I am writing the logic here. Logic for swapping. We have mainly three steps. The first step is take a variable x. a of 0 will be stored to x. a of 0 is what? 70 will be assigned to x. Now a of 6 will be assigned to a of 0. What is a of 6 here? The last element. 10 will be stored in the first position. a of 0th position. Now x will be assigned to the last position. That is x value is 70. This 70 will be assigned to a of 6. a of 6 is 10 here. These are the three steps for doing the swapping. Now again I am printing printf the elements in the array after swapping. Here I am not swapping all the elements. I am just swapping the first and last elements of the array. 
for this you can use the same for loop here i am printing the given array elements i am doing the swapping i am printing the elements after swapping the first and last element of the array here i introduced a new variable x so declare this x here compile this program run this program see here the elements in the given array are 70 80 60 50 30 20 10 after exchanging 10 is coming to the first position 70 is going to the last position you can take a slash n here for the new line this is by taking the given array elements let's take these elements from the user uh, i am removing this let's take this from the user print f enter the number of elements how many number of elements you want scan f percentage d comma am percent n in this case you can take any number of elements now read the array elements printf enter the elements into the array i am taking the elements into the array how many elements we have to take n number of elements for this i can take a for loop for i is equal to zero i less than n i plus plus for reading array elements you have to use the scanf statement scanf percentage d comma am percent a of i in the previous case we have initialized the array elements at the declaration itself now i am taking the array elements from the user this is just a print statement with the help of for loop i am taking the array elements when you are printing the array elements i am using a for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than 7 instead of 7 you have to take n why because now i am taking n number of elements in the swapping also there is no change in the first element but you have to take the last element is n minus 1 so why because if we have seven elements, the last element is six. If we have ten elements, the last element is ten minus one, nine. Then x will be assigned to the last element, that is n minus one. After swapping the array elements, I have to print the elements. Now also i less than seven will be changed to i less than n. This is another simple logic. So let's save this file we have to declare n here save this file compile this file and run this file for example if i give 10 number of elements you have to enter 4 5 6 7 8 9 15 42 25 65 you can see here the elements in the given array in the same order i am printing the elements after exchanging the elements 65 is coming to the first position and 4 is coming to the last position the remaining elements are not changed here so in this we have mainly four steps the first step is take the number of elements read the array elements then print the array elements here do the swapping logic in the swapping again we have three steps and finally print the array elements after swapping if you have any queries please comment in the comment section thank you for watching